This is a very common mistake for all the algebra students. Check this out. First, let's see how we can expand parentheses with 3x inside and then square. Well, what does a square mean? This means we can just write this down twice and then multiply it. So we get parentheses and the inside is just 3x and then we have another parentheses and the inside is 3x. Okay, and then we are going to multiply it out. And you see we just have 3 times x times 3 times x. The thing is, we can do 3 times 3 first, which is just 9. And then x times x will give us x to the second power. So that will be it. And again, of course, the 9 is just 3 squared, so it's the same thing. So this is it. And of course, there's the fast way to do it. In this case, when we have 3x squared, we can actually just put the 2 to the 3, and we see the 3 squared is just the 9, and then put the 2 to the x, and we have the x squared, and that's it. However, if you try to do that for the second one, where we have 3 plus x in a parentheses like this, and then square, if you really want to just put this to here, to here, then this right here is wrong. The very common mistake is, people will just say, this is equal to 3 squared plus x squared. But as I said, this right here is not correct. Don't do that. So I'll show you guys the right way to do it now. For this one, 3 plus x squared. The big difference is that we have a plus in between. So we have a binomial inside, meaning that we have two terms inside. This right here is just one term. Well, for this, what do we do? Again, use the same idea. We are going to write this down twice. So we are going to have parentheses with 3 plus x, and then another parentheses with the same thing inside, 3 plus x. Cool. And now, this right here is called the uh, FOIL method. And uh, sometimes I call this the arrow method because I will just be drawing arrows. And you can also use the box method. I will show you guys the box, list, the box method later, but let me show you how we follow it. To do so, you first take the 3, you multiply by the 3. 3 times 3 is 3 squared, which is just 9. Next, you take the 3, you multiply with the x, and that will give us 3x. And we have to add them up, so we add 3x. Next, you see we did this times this, and then this times that already, so we have to move to this x. And we take this x, multiply with 3, x times 3 is 3x, well x times 3, well just write it as 3x so that everything is in the same order like this. And lastly, x times x is x squared, so we once again add the x squared. And notice, in the middle, we have the plus 3x plus another 3x, so we can combine them, and of course we'll just get 6x. So this is 9 plus, and again this is 6x, and then plus x squared. Usually though, we like to have this answer in the descending order of the power, meaning that we want to write the x squared term first. So let me just rewrite it as x squared plus 6x and then plus 9. So this right here would be the answer for this one. And now, as I said, this is like the little bonus um, of the box method, right? And by the way, notice this is the correct answer. We do have the 6x. Earlier we didn't, right? So here's the box method that will really help you understand how you can multiply this. So take a look, 3, uh, 3 plus x times 3 plus x. Box method, of course, you draw boxes. So this is the first box, but we have two terms times two terms, so breaking to two and two. And then for the first one, let's put down 3 plus x like this. And then for the second one, let's put the 3 plus x on the side, like this. Ready? To fill in this box, we just do 3 times 3, which is 9. Next, to fill in this box, we do x times 3, which is 3x. Next, to fill in this box, we do 3 times x, which is 3x. And lastly, x times x gives us x squared. And we see that in the diagonal here, 3x plus 3x, it does give us the 6x. And then we have the 9, and we have the x squared. I would recommend this method to the students if you would like to visually see it. And another thing is, when we have more terms inside, the box method multiplication, it will work so much better. It's much organized. And um, I will show you guys that example in the next video. So make sure you subscribe. That's it.